And welcome back. We're back with Today Food. This morning's guest, you know her, you love her, Ree Drummond. She is known as the pioneer woman, and today she's showing us two easy recipes for a family feast. But first, what life has like been with, for her on the ranch for Ree and her family since the quarantine started? The energy is rolling. I feel it. Reed Drummond is no stranger to working from home. In fact, home has always been where the Drummond family life flourishes. This picturesque Oklahoma ranch has been the backdrop for Reed's hit television show, The Pioneer Woman, for nearly a decade. You guys ready for this? And when quarantine became a reality, Reed looked no further than her very own family to take on the role of backup crew. Reed's four kids stepped in behind the camera to assist their pioneer mom. Oh my gosh, it's... Lad Drummond. When not cooking for this brood, including hungry hubby Lad, refocuses on easy recipes from her website that just relaunched, which gets more than 20 million views a month. And live from her ranch, there she is, the pioneer woman herself, Ree Drummond. Hey, Ree, how are you? Hey, Hoda, I am great. How are you? Girl, it is so good to see you. Whenever you're on the show, everyone goes, oh my God, Ree's on. Savannah was like, who has Ree? Oh, I love Ree. I know, everybody does. So Hi, we're, Savannah. We're, Hi, we're I should all, be there with you. Oh, of course. Too. I miss we, you guys. Well, we are team Ree all the way, but you got to walk us through what happens. So you're, you're doing your show in your house like you always do, and all of a sudden the pandemic hits. Your crew has to exit stage left, and you got your kids. You have four children, and they become your crew. <laughs> is that how it went down? Well, my kids have always come in handy on the ranch. My husband loves having all these extra ranch hands, but this is the first time that I've sort of gotten to use them as my own special kind of ranch hand. So, yes, my TV crew is actually in the U.K., and so we knew it would be a while before they were able to come back. So we just jumped in, used our cell phones, and started filming our shows, and We've done probably 25 episodes, and we're getting ready to film one later today with my older daughter, Alex. And so, you know, just like everybody else, we're taking the most mm -hmm. from this situation and, and doing what we can. Well, we're going to get to your recipes in a minute, but Re, I heard that, like us, you have pandemic pants. <laughs> we're into the <laughs> And we are for it. We are here for yeah. it. Can you tell us about yours? <laughs> my pandemic pants are so friendly. They're my best friend. They, they don't judge me. Um, they, they try their best to make me look good. It doesn't really matter what I look like because it's all below the counter anyway. Yes. But um, I, I saw weeks ago on Twitter, somebody called jeans hard pants. <laughs> and I've, I've been avoiding my hard pants ever since. Yeah. So, look, yeah. we hate we hard hate, pass yeah. on the hard pants. Absolutely. All right. But and we, I, I need the home edit girls to come live with me too. By the way. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. All right, Reese. So we want to get to the recipe because you got a couple of great ones. People are wondering what to make for dinner. You've got a, a simple, easy pasta recipe. What are we cooking? Yes. Yeah, so I am so into shortcut homemade ravioli. And what makes it shortcut is that I use wonton wrappers. So these are just in the store. And I made a little mixture of ricotta, Parmesan, salt, pepper, lemon zest. Wow. And I just put a little, I mm. can't get too close to you guys, but put a little dollop in the middle of the wonton wrapper. And then I just take my clean finger mm -hmm. <laughs> and rub a little egg wash around the edge oh. and then take a second wonton wrapper and put it on top, line up the edges, and then you just want to press it together. Oops, I grabbed three. That's okay. <laughs> it's, I'm doing this on the fly. And then just force all the air out. And honestly, if you can't make, make homemade pasta dough or you don't have time, this is such a great shortcut. I like that. And then you just can get an assembly line with your kids, make as many of these as you want, and then just drop them into salted water one by one. And look. All right, I love it's those. Little... Pieces of ravioli, just delicious, fresh hey, and ready to go. Hey, Ree, can we? We only have a minute, but we want to get to that dessert. That what is it? Ice it's box, ice box yeah. cake. Oh yeah, blackberry ice box cake. So the frozen pound cakes that we all know and love. I shave the top off, crumble it into crumbs, pour in butter. Very easy, and then just put this on the stove top. Toast the crumbs, mm. and then the cake that's left. You slice the cake into three slices lengthwise. I already started a layer, and it's cake, a mixture of jam, blackberries, and lemon juice, Yum. and lemon zest. 
Huh. It's so fun to use a frozen pound cake because then you cut that whole well, step. Oh my gosh, uh, you know, it doesn't even look hard. Re, re, it looks deli- something Savannah so, I could make. We're happy. Yeah. All right. We, you just layer it kind of like lasagna. All right. Cake, jam, cream. Re, and then you wind we up. love you. We love you. We can't wait for your book to come out. Thank you for cooking for us. Uh, you can check out Thank her you, recipes girls. at today.com slash food. We're back with the Take third care. and fourth hours after this. Bye, Ree. Bye, Ree. I'm going to go put my pandemic pants on. I like that.